Vodka. Oh, <laughs> why did I get scared? Oh, Russia, a heavy drinker. Oh, they're very straightforward. <laughs> I think they are kind of cold and they don't smile a lot. At first, scary. <laughs> because of the language. They don't like you, they'll let you know about it. And I like that about them. <laughs> very poised, very stoic people. You know, uh, they don't fuck around. All right, they're not gonna laugh at anything. And a little bit uh, strict, that's what I have to think of. I think of like communism, a Soviet guy in a trench just waiting for the Americans to come. Mafia. I just feel like the army, like very strong people. Intimidating at first, but maybe it's just like the first impression you have from them. I always think of winter in Russia. Do they even have summer? Could be beautiful in Moscow and rich or cold and freezing in Siberia. I imagine a lady with uh, a beautiful uh, fur coat uh, and she's quite tall and elegant, but the guy are not that elegant. So, you know, the rich uh, Russian guy eating caviar and drinking champagne on a yacht, but being very like, you know... Cold politics, power, oil, Putin. That's just the, the onion domes of the Russian Orthodox churches, and the art there is just amazing. Vodka. Vodka. When Danish people make fun of Russia, we say vodka. They love their vodka, that's for certain. They handle very well their, uh, their alcohol. Talking about some real like bottles dropping and you're, you're passing out and you're still going like, oh, what are you doing? They're fighters of which I watch a lot of look kind of scary and bored, which is a cool look. Fedor Emelianenko, shout out to you for looking really scary and bored at the same time. Yeah, I am having a bad day. I kill you, blat. Na zdrowie. Comrade, we have found the American spy in the field. We will take him to the gulag and torture him for the Kremlin. That's how it sounds. But that's how Russian sounds to me. Want me to do a Russian impression, speak in English? Yes. Yesterday, I drank some Putinska. Russia, bring on the vodka. Where is my vodka? Vodka, vodka, vodka. Vodka. In Soviet Russia, alcohol drink you. Very good, strong man. You come here to my house with no gift. What is this? Privet. Da. That's it. Privet. Prosti prošenja ja na očen rošo govoriju po ruski. No ja pobrobiju. In Russia, everything is perfect. We do good. Yes, smile. I can't do the accent. I can't even speak proper English. How can I do my Russian accent? Russian good. You know, you like to drink vodka, but we like you, you like to eat borscht. We, we, if you if you don't drink vodka, ten shot. You are a bitch. Who's that? Who's that Russian PM with the thing on his head there? I mean, most of international models are coming from Russians. Tattoo. I remember when I was young. Uh, Hasbula, the fighter. My man has Bullah. He just walks around like, That's the president? What's the name of the president? Oh my god. Ooh, I don't want to say his name, but yeah, Vladimir Putin, I guess. Putin. Putin. Vladimir Putin, I guess. Tsar Alexander II. He was killed by the peasant class. Very random, I'm sorry. No, it's good. Oh, sorry. Uh, my answer is Vladimir Putin. Sorry. <laughs> Anna Pavlova, a ballet dancer. The Romanovs, Dostoevsky, classical music, you know, Dostoevsky, Tolstoy, like all those great, great, great writers, you know. Mila Kunis, she's Russian. I can't pronounce his name. Arnold? Isn't he Russian? Austria. The big... Oh, really? There's a DJ that we put on that's called DJ Blyatman, and he makes only hard style music. And that's what you see in all of those YouTube videos with Russians, you know, like, with what kind of... Russia is also known for like great poets, writers, musicians. It's it's a country with very rich history. I think caviar is from Russia. Caviar, cabbage rolls, kvass. Russian food is really good. I haven't had any cottage cheese. Pelmeni, you know, draniki, olivier, the winter salad. I imagine a lot of it is pickled. Russian stews and things, and miserable old stews. They're like they're so miserable, but like. You're, it's so cold that you're like, you're just delighted with them anyway. Anything that's planned. 
they're very well known for their salads and they're so good. Mayonnaise, I, I was starting to remember it and it's pink too and very, very small, cut very small. They're really, really good. Olivier salad as well with a quail egg on top. Sirniki, I really like Sirniki. I also like borscht, as, uh, as stereotypical as that might sound. Borscht, pierogi. Do you guys have schnitzel like we do have? No. no. Winchik? Winchik? Yes, it's like pancakes, right? So I almost tried borscht once. I was on a date with a girl and the waitress bought my borscht and she spilt it all over my lap. So I didn't get to taste it. However, I did that and it was actually really nice. It's like beetrooty, it's really nice. I liked it. Blonde, tall, cold. Very hardworking, very hardworking, very matter of fact, very to the point, which I really appreciated. I'm a very blunt person. Russian men scare the men, also a little bit scare the women, but in a, in a good way. Russian men, ruthless, cold, strategic, or drunk. Drinking, but having the legs like open like that, and blah, and then just like this, and uh, speaking like that very, with a strong voice, with the very uh, skinny girl side and very sexy. Men, they love drinking alcohol and party hard, and like they're kind of rough. Deep voice, intimidating. Present, confidence. Machist as well, not romantic. Very straight face, no nonsense. The guys are very burly. They have like great uh, jaw structure line. I, I know my Russian friend la likes to show off their strengths, so he's always like... And handyman. I, ha I have a guy working with me, uh, he is Russian. So one, one day he, he helped me, so I said thank you. He was like three dollars. Russian girls are beautiful. Uh, very beautiful. They're generally super cute. Russian women, they're either extremely beautiful tens or they're old fat grandmas selling seeds at the market. Very feminine, soft. Uh, they're elegant. Uh, strong as well. Powerful, matriarch, caring, catering. You would see them always dressed up nice, like uh, brands and stuff. My first serious girlfriend was Russian. She wouldn't even go downstairs to the convenience store without dressing up, putting on makeup, just doing her hair. Mink hot. <laughs> It's very stereotypical. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, especially you, the Russians, Ruskia. This was really funny for me as a Russian to film this video and just to see what people thought of us. So let me know in the comments what you thought was utterly ridiculous, really funny, or the truth. And I'm gonna answer back. By the way, feel free to do your own reaction video to this video. If you do, include the original video and tag me at Dating Beyond Border so I can go check it out and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more on dating around the world. Hit the bell button. Do it because a lot of you are not subscribed and I want you to be subscribed and not to miss out on content. And I will see you next week with a new video and keep on breaking down your barriers. Пока!